Welcome back guys to tutorial number 21 and in this video we are going to be learning the various ways that we can specify a color to an HTML element. Now the first way, the first method is using the color keyword that we have already learned. So let's say we have an h1 tag that we want to have in red color. So we use the h1 selector and within the pair of brackets we're going to be using the color keyword and then specifying red as the value. And within a body tag, we can create an h1 tag that says this is CSS. And when you save it and refresh it, you get this is CSS in red color. So by using the color keyword and an appropriate color, we are able to assign color to our HTML elements. And the second one, or the second way of assigning a color is using an hexadecimal value. Now this has a pound or a pound sign or a hash symbol followed by six hexadecimal values. So if you want a red color, it is going to be R, G, B, two digits or two characters for each of the red, green and blue color. Now FF is going to have a red color. Okay, it's already red. If you want to change it to green, then change the middle two to F. And there you go. This is CSS in green color. Now you can have any combination of hexadecimal values. If you just go to Google and type hexadecimal color code for HTML, you'll get a whole bunch of colors that you can use. And the third way is using the RGB property. So the color is going to be RGB and this RGB is going to take three parameters. The first one is for the red color. So let's say we don't want red, we want a blue color. So the red is going to be zero, a green is going to be zero and the maximum value of 255 for blue color. So R is represented by the first parameter green by the second and blue by the third. Now when we save it and refresh it, we have this is CSS in blue color. Now if you want a different shade, we can even combine it. So 255, 255 for green and blue. You save it, you get a new color of blue and then you can add a bit of red, let's say 128. Save it refresh it and then you get another shade of blue. So yeah, that's pretty much the different ways that we can apply color to our HTML tags. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.